OS JTAG is a product that can read and write MPC56 series chips. Ulink NT's version 1.47 now also add MPC 5675K target to the support list. In this video, I'm going to compare Ulink NT and OS JTAG to program MPC 5675K. This chip has two megabyte of code flash and 64 kilobyte of data flash. First, I'm going to show OS JTAG to read the flash. First, run the software and then we connect. Uh, when we read the data flash, we need to select the data flash uh, configuration. So 5075K D flash and open it. So now I want to read the 64 kilobyte of flash. So I'm going to say upload module data flash. So now let's close this one and uh, read the, the code flash. Connect. And scroll down. 75, 60, C flash. So now read the two meg code flash. This is two megabyte of flash and it will take quite a bit of time to uh, read the entire flash. Compared to Ulink NT, uh, it can read at the speed about 560 kilobyte per second. So two megabyte of flash, it will take about three to four seconds. But you will see this later. We have only read about a quarter of the two megabyte. That's about 512 kilobyte when we reach eight Zero, 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 zero. Now let's program the data flash. Let's connect. And we can select the data flash configuration. In order to program, you need to specify the object file, which here we can say this is data flash. We select it. And then we can try to program the module. But it says number of PM command exceeded, use EM. So we need to first erase the module. Let's say erase module. 
any module erased. Uh, let's expand this a little bit bigger. Now I can program the module. This is to program the data flash. It takes quite a while to program. So programmed. Now let's do a verify. Verify the uh, module. Okay, now let's do, oh. I think we can select the, oh no, were we able to select the choose, okay, we can choose the algorithm here instead of restart the software. So now I'm going to select the uh, code flash module and it will initialize. So now I'm going to select the object file, which is code flash. And I'm going to do a program. I believe it will fail too, because it asked me to do erase. So now I'm going to erase it. and then I'm going to program. This is going to take very, very long. So program module, out of memory. So program address. Let me select the, did I specify the wrong code flash? And then program module. Okay, I still need to erase. I don't know why. Uh, it's not very user friendly. Let's see if it failed, then we can use the Unicanty to program it. It just takes too long. Okay, I'm failed on programming the uh, code flash. Actually, because it says a demo version, I even uninstall the software and reinstall the software. Um, it didn't work. So now let's switch back to the Unicant and see how fast Unicant can program compared to the uh, OS JTAG. This is Unicant 1.47 version and it has target MPC 5675K. Uh, let's look at the configuration. And it shows here uh, the initialization sequence uh, to unlock the flash, uh, as well as there is a new proto sub protocol called Nexus. This is added in 1.47. Uh, also the code flash and the uh, data flash are in the same configuration. You do not need to select uh, different configuration to program the data flash and, and the, uh, the code flash. So first we need to, uh, look, please note here is debug off and the USB connected. We need to hit detect and it, it goes to debug R. You can see the MCU ID is 5675 and this is JTAG ID uh, and we detect the the code flash and data flash. Now let's try to read the 64 kilobyte of flash, data flash, which OS JTAG takes about eight seconds to read. Now let's read it. One, two, three, and done. So this is the data and you can try to see verify. Same as this code flash. Let's read the code flash. Uh, this is two megabyte flash and it took about two, three minutes. I don't know how long, three, four minutes for the uh, OS JTAG to read. Now let's read it. And we are at about close to 600 kilobytes per read and it's take three and a half seconds to read. Okay, let's re verify it. 
And in order to save it, you can click, you know, select the tab of C flash. Then we say we want to save it and it will be, you know, date and time and save it. I also want to save the date data flash. Then I hit save and down. So let's, uh, let's take a look if how we can erase them. Uh, so I initialize it to the tab of zero. Of course, if I want to see the data flash, it will fail because it's been, uh, it has data and memory does not. So now I'm going to erase it and it's done. So now if we verify it, data is empty. Also, we can use blank check, blank check uh, the flash and it's blanked. Now let's also erase the C flash, code flash. And we can blank check the C flash. Uh, it is also empty. Let's try to program this back. Uh, we just uh, D flash. This is what we have backed up. And let's click it right. Uh, take a look how long does it take, okay? This is erase and program boom. Under one second, this is 0 0.6 seconds. We have programmed the D flash 64 kilobyte and let's verify it. It's done. Let's uh, do the C flash, which is 31st. I make sure this is in the loaded. So let's take a look how long does it take to program the two megabyte flash code flash. Again, we are doing the erase. Okay, we are close to 100 kilobyte per second average. And this is 16 seconds of erase and take a look how long it takes. So in 14 seconds, we program the two megabyte flash. Let's verify it. So compared to the OS JTAG, which we failed to program the data flash or code flash for some reason, I believe it's the evaluation uh, software. If you buy the product, OS JTAG probably about, you know, $100 or uh, 100 pounds, depends on where you are. And you probably need to purchase additional software to be able to do this. And even you do have the software, there's no comparison in speed. I think at one point I was able to program the data flash, a code flash with the OS JTAG. It took like 20 minutes, 20 minutes to program the code flash, which in here is 14 seconds. And you can see it's very, very fast. Uh, for the MPC chip, you, you should uh, stick with the code flash and data flash. There is also a shadow flash, which you need to treat this very carefully. Uh, if you mess this up, you can kill the uh, the chip entirely. And I have done so for a few chips already. Uh, in all, Ulink NT is very good in programming the MPC 5000 series chips.